Hello friends, it is rightly said that there are thousands of books written, printed and published every year. But how many books are read? How many books are understood? There are so many methods mentioned in our books, ancient books, in which there were so many calculation shortcuts, but we seem to have forgotten most of them. Today, in trick number 20, I am going to deal with prime numbers which are taught to the students at junior level and students of higher classes also struggle to spot the prime numbers if they are given a three digit or a four digit number. So this concept of finding the prime numbers was say initiated in 3rd century BC and no one of current generation remembers this. So I thought I will refresh this method once more and you will realize that it is so easy to spot all the prime numbers from 1 to 100 by utilizing just 15 seconds. So here I go. What I have done is I have written all numbers from 1 to 100 in rows of 6. So 1 to 6, 7 to 12, 13 to 18 and so on until I complete 100. Now when I start spotting the prime numbers, the first thing I do is I remember that 1 is not a prime number. It is not a prime number and it is not a composite number as well. So we have to forget 1. Now we start from 2. We encircle 2 because 2 is a prime number and we strike off all the numbers in this column because all these numbers are even numbers divisible by 2. Similarly, 4 is divisible by 2 so we strike off all numbers which occur in this column as well. Similarly, 6 is divisible by 2 so all numbers in this column are also struck off. So we are left with only three columns now. So all the prime numbers are going to exist in these three columns only. So that solves half of our problems. Now come to the next number 3. 3 is a prime number and underneath 3 in this column you find all numbers which are multiples of 3. So they cannot be prime, they are divisible by 3. So I strike off all numbers in this column as well except 3 of course which is prime. Now move on to 5. For finding numbers divisible by 5, you have to move diagonally. Just see the table of 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95 and 100. So I have struck off all the numbers which were divisible by 5 as well. Now the last step. We move on. 6 is already struck off. Now move on to 7. Again for finding the multiples of 7, we have to move diagonally. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, 84, 91 and 98. This is all folks. This is how we arrive at the prime numbers. All numbers which are encircled, all numbers which are remaining, these are the 25 prime numbers between 1 and 100. Isn't that simple? And it's so easy to spot the prime numbers. One question which arises is, why did I stop at 7? And why didn't I move further? See, I have taken numbers up to 100. The highest number is 100 and the square root of 100 is 10. So, you just need to consider all prime numbers below 10, that's all.
so we started from 2 3 5 7 8 and 9 are not prime 10 is not prime so underneath 10 we have only four prime numbers so that solves our, our purpose if you have expanded this matrix to 200 then square root of 200 would have been a larger number so you would have considered number below that square root number okay let us proceed further now one more problem with which uh, children are facing is while taking LCM suppose they have to make factors of a larger number and they have to identify uh, the factor of a particular number which is quite big so it is a problem for them I'll take one example and just illustrate suppose we have 277 and we have to check whether 277 is divisible by any number or not now for making factors this is a big problem so I will just tell you one method through which we can tell whether 277 will be divisible by some number or not now let us see the square root of 277 obviously it is not a perfect square but I will find a number whose square is very near to 277 for in this case we have say 17 square is 289 so 17 is the number whose square is very close to 277 so I will write all prime numbers below 17 these are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 so only 6 prime numbers now my task is lessened I have to just check whether 277 is divisible by these 6 numbers or not obviously it is not divisible by 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13 so 277 is prime we don't need to check it by larger numbers say one more example say I have I have to check 413 whether it is prime or not or whether it comes in the table of some smaller number I consider under root 413 and I check that 21 square is 441 20 square is obviously 400 which is uh, below this so I have to take a larger number 21 square is 441 so 441 lies closer to 413 now all prime numbers below 21 2 3 5 7 11 13 and after 13 we have 17 and 19 as well here the number was 17 so we stopped at 13 here the number is 21 so we have to stop at 19 now check 413 is not divisible not divisible by 2 3 5 but 413 is divisible by 7 divisible by 7 so if it is divisible by 7 so 413 is not prime So this is a very very useful method when we have to teach children how to spot whether a number is prime or not instead of checking larger numbers up to 413 they can spot some unique numbers and check whether this number is divisible by these numbers only so a lot of problems will be solved and students will be able to find the LCM of two or more numbers very quickly keep learning Keep enjoying, share and subscribe the video if you like it.